Hi there, I'm Kat. I'm a brand and graphic designer. I've been doing this for about five years now. And over that time, I've kind of cultivated a few tips and tricks that have helped me really improve in my craft. Here are five ways to become a better designer. Tip number one, practice in some way, shape, or form every single day. You don't have to go crazy and dedicate like three hours of your life to making a poster or doing like the 365 poster challenge if that's not your vibe. Just sketching or doodling for even like 10 to 15 minutes counts as practice. The goal is to build the consistent habit of doing something creative every single day because the more you practice creativity, the more creative you become. Number two, Draw inspiration from what you're genuinely passionate about. A lot of people ask me, how do you come up with your ideas? What do you do when you're in a creative block? The answer to both of those is I just kind of think about what I truly love and what I truly enjoy. In my case, a lot of the inspiration comes from my friends and my family and people that I genuinely like. I've made a lot of projects surrounding that from like my socially distanced pals campaign where I put all of my friends onto individual products or this kind of like magazine series that I started called Look Mom No Hands and it kind of chronicles my adventure into adulthood but specifically volume 2 I kind of made a magazine to celebrate the fact that me and my friends were all graduating we were all going off into grad school or jobs or just like different paths basically and I wanted something to commemorate that but if you want to be an illustrator and you're obsessed with food for instance illustrate your favorite dishes. If you're obsessed with travel and want to get into brand design, try creating a conceptual brand around travel. Tie the type of design that you're interested in to the things that you really enjoy. A lot of the times my best work stems from what I'm passionate about because I'm just more motivated to put thought and care into it. And I think other people can notice that too. Number three. Channel your current thoughts and emotions into designing for fun. This is another one of the main ways that I get my ideas because I literally use design as a coping mechanism. I just really lean into how I'm feeling. If I'm sad, you're gonna be able to tell that I'm pretty sad through my art. Same with if I'm happy, you're gonna be able to tell, oh, she's in a good mood today. If I'm frustrated, it is also very obvious. I kind of view design as a very therapeutic way to let out my feelings. And I think people can really appreciate when you get really personal and vulnerable with your designs because then they can kind of resonate with them and relate to them. Someone out there is definitely feeling happy or sad or frustrated too. Tip number four, experiment with multiple different styles and mediums. I am in love with Illustrator and Photoshop, but I feel like I would get super burnt out if I was just only solely working on those programs. I like to explore painting and collaging or mixing mediums. Don't be afraid to get weird, just really experiment with it. I found that playing around with other mediums has really inspired me and helped me ultimately find my style a little bit more. Painting has really helped me appreciate textures a lot more and it's motivated me to use them in my work digitally as well. Doing a little bit more research into risographs and taking workshops related to that has led me to make more riso-inspired designs. Bonus tip, try printing out your work. I think it feels really different and good to just have your work be really tangible, like something you can really hold in your hands. It just brings a very different feeling and it's like, oh, you're just holding your little baby. Just try printing out your work, try making it a little bit more tangible. Tip number five, understand what gets you into your flow state. For those of you who don't know, flow state is basically that feeling you get when you're in the zone. This quote from Headspace that I pulled up summarizes it pretty well. It's basically that sense of fluidity between your body and mind where you're totally absorbed by and deeply focused on something beyond the point of distraction. Time feels like it has slowed down, your senses are heightened, you are at one with the task at hand as action and awareness sink to create an effortless momentum. For me, I love getting into that flow state because it's kind of like nothing else matters. All of my thoughts and worries instantly melt away. There's basically like no other feeling like it. And I kind of just know exactly what I'm doing from moment to moment. I'm not pausing to think about, oh, what should I do next? It's kind of like an autopilot, and I kind of think it's the same thing as creativity. The more you practice getting into that flow state, the easier it is to continuously get into it. For me, a good music playlist will really get me into a flow state. 
it's a little bit different for everyone. You might need white noise or a podcast or just complete utter silence and maybe it's something else that gets you into a flow state like something that tingles your other senses like maybe a candle or like a really relaxing environment find out what makes it easier for you to get into that flow state so that you can easily access it more so yeah those are my top five tips whether you're just starting out in design or you've been doing it for a while like i have i hope you learned something new i hope at least one of them helped you so yeah, that's it. I will see you guys later.